Welcome to my Back in Time video. This album is kind of a throwback to the 1970s and 1980s, because that's when I wrote most of these songs, was from 1978 through 1988. So I'm going to give you a brief explanation of each song before I play it. And the first song is called Back in Time, and it's the cover song, obviously, of, of the album. And it's very simple it's not a, there's nothing difficult about this but i did that on purpose because all the songs on this album are very simple they're songs i wrote way back in when i was 15 years old in 1978 and all the way up until uh, when i was 25 years old in 1988 and a lot of the songs the first early songs up to 1982 were rather simple i didn't write very difficult music back then. I wrote kind of simple music and uh, it was really the starting point of my writing career, my music writing career. And so this is all rather simple songs and they're really just a reflection of my roots of how I got started writing music. And Fear of the Future, in fact, one of the songs on this album is from 1978. It's the first song I ever wrote. So we're going to start off with the only current song on this entire album. This song is Back in Time, and this is I wrote this in June of this year, 2022, and this is called Back in Time. Going back in time To when the music was real I'm going back in time To the rhythms you could feel When imagination was the limitation of originality When musical horizons reached beyond I'm going back in time I'm going back in time I'm going back in time I'm going back in time
So the second song on this album is called Decision. That was the original name of the song, but it's kind of called Heavenly Telephone by the people who know it. My parents both liked this song and they liked me to play it on my acoustic guitar and I would just sing and play the guitar to this song. And it's just a very simple song with some jazz chords. It's just, um, it was way back in 1981 I wrote this. This was when I was either 17 or 18 years old when I wrote this song. And it's called Decision, but you could call it Heavenly Telephone. So here it goes. Heavenly Telephone or Decision. <laughs> roads they look quite the same but one leads to glory and one leads to shame i cannot make the right choice on my own gotta pick up the heavenly telephone his line is open night and day whenever you pray But now it's easy to tell Which ends up badly and which ends up well I couldn't have made the right choice on my own Had to pick up the heavenly telephone He showed me the way Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. This is the third song, Fear the Future. This is the first song I ever wrote. Now, I had messed with some songs and made some rough songs early on that I never actually made anything out of, but Fear the Future was the first song I ever played with anyone. Uh, Robert Carlson and I did this song together uh, back in uh, 1978, 79, 80, 81, around then. And I wrote it in 1978. When I was 15 years old, it was really the first uh, complete song that I ever did that was actually performed by me and, and uh, other people. Robert Carlson was one person who did it with me. My brother, Mark Seacamp, also played this with me sometimes. And it's called Fear the Future. And I, over the years, it kind of got uh, lyrical uh, upgrades. And I honestly don't remember the original words, what they were um, exactly, but this is what I had on record. And this was a variation that I made probably around 1981 or so, but the original song, the melody and the rhythm part and everything was 1978. That's when I wrote this song originally. My brother warned me that I couldn't record this song without putting in the kind of weird beginning because there's an introduction that you'll hear that's kind of weird. And so I added the introduction and I actually put put it in different places throughout the song as well in the background. And uh, if you listen carefully, you'll hear weird, uh, this weird guitar part, this weird intro that I put in there. And that's part of the original song. That's how I originally wrote it was with that part. And um, so because of my brother, Mark, uh, yes, that's, that's part of this recording. And it, it should be because it's part of the original song. So this is Fear of the Future. The road of life is closing to an end Soon on earth there will be nothing left to defend 
I'm serious now, I can no longer pretend I never knew the time wasn't my friend There's a fear of the future somewhere inside of me Of anything else in the world I'd like to be free There's a fear of the future dwelling somewhere inside It's a terrible feeling and I've got nowhere to hide I began searching in my quest to endure Although I'd heard of eternity, I just wasn't sure We've always lived in a state of constant change But the past is gone and now today feels strange There's a fear of the future somewhere inside of me Of anything else in the world I'd like to be free There's a fear of the future Dwelling somewhere inside It's a terrible feeling And I've got nowhere to hide Bible and read to the end On temporary things I could not depend The grass will wither and the flowers fade But the word of God has never decayed There's no more fear of the future Christ has set me free With the Holy Spirit dwelling inside There's nothing left to fear and no reason to hide Back in the 1980s and the 70s, um, we didn't have computers in the 70s, and there were no PCs. And I wrote things down, and I put them in a notebook. That's how I had all my songs recorded. And up until the early 1990s, I recorded all my songs I wrote in this in this book. I just I wrote them down. So my first 278 songs, I've got about a thousand now, but 
my first 278 are all in this notebook. This next song is uh, Sharing Your Love. It was, it's song number 82 in this book. Just I wrote these in my own handwriting. You know, it's just basically the words were in my own handwriting. And I recorded the date I wrote the song on each of these pages. So this was written on October 6th, 1983. That's when I wrote this song, Sharing Your Love. My sister and I, uh, I remember us singing this song together. We performed it in front of someone. I don't even know where or when, but we actually sang this song together once. My sister and I, she has a good singing voice, and she harmonized, and, and I played the guitar and sang. And so we actually did this one live, and it's called Sharing Your Love. Thank you for being a friend You know our relationship will never have to end Thank you for caring and sharing your life And sharing your love with me Thank you for reinforcing All our common qualities Thank you for giving yourself and sharing your love with me. Thank you for being a friend, for always being so willing to bend. Thank you for helping me open up to you and sharing your love with me. Thank you for reinforcing all our common qualities. Thank you for giving yourself and sharing your love with me. This next song is from 1979. It's one of my earliest songs. Again, it's called The Music Scene. And this has kind of uh, my view of the music scene as it was back in 1979. And uh, this song is about that, about the music scene back then. I wasn't happy with it. I wasn't happy with how pop music was. I didn't like pop music. I liked more uh, what we would call alternative, although it was progressive rock. I liked progressive rock like Jethro Tull, Rush, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, um, the Moody Blues. <laughs> I know, yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Throw the Moody Blues in there, why don't you? And Steel Eye Span. Steel Eye Span was one of my favorite bands. That was a British uh, folk band that did folk rock. They put folk music to uh, rock beats. And I liked a lot of progressive music like that. I was into progressive rock. 
And so I didn't like the music scene in 1979. I wasn't happy with the way uh, music was. It was, um, the mainstream music was very pop sounding. And of course it always has been and it always will be pop, whatever the latest pop is that the music industry wants to insert into the music scene. Um, so this song's called The Music Scene. And it's from, I wrote it in 1979, but it's just as true today, really, is, um, you know, I've just never been happy with the mainstream music, with the way pop music is. I've never been happy with it. So it's called the music scene. So here it is. Heavy metal heated to a glow Find me more than I hear on the radio How about some real music That appeals to all Not just a style that will rise And fall Jazz so cool it drops the temperature Find me some blue so sad that people can't endure Find me some bluegrass in which weeds will never grow Find me more than I hear on the radio How about some real music That appeals to all Not just a style that will rhyme This next song is called The Door of My Lips, and this is the most recent song besides Back in Time, besides the title song. This is the most recent song on this album. It's from 1988. The only reason I included it is because it was another example of songs that I wrote that were straight out of the Bible. And basically I was quoting uh, Psalm 141 in this song, and I called it The Door of My Lips. And uh, at the time I wrote this song, I was heavily into learning about words, the importance of words. It was a spiritual thing, really. And of course, that's why the Bible verses are included in this. And uh, so it's Psalm 141, really, a number of verses from Psalm 141 anyways. And so this is called Door of My Lips.
Let a guard over my mouth, oh Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Set a guard over my mouth, oh Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Let not my heart be drawn to what is evil. To take part in wicked deeds with men who are evil to worse. Let me not partake of their delicacies. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. They will learn that my words were well spoken, but my eyes are fixed on you, O Sovereign Lord. Keep me from the snares they have laid for me, from the traps set by evil to worse. Set a guard over my mouth, O Watch over the door of my lips. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Set a guard over my mouth, O Watch over the door of my lips. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. This next song is called Fiesta. And this is my first instrumental song I ever wrote. This is actually the seventh song I ever wrote. And it's from 1980. I wrote it when I was 17 years old. And it was my seventh song. So on the album, I made it song number seven. Because I thought that was appropriate. Because it's the seventh song I ever wrote. And it was my first instrumental that I ever wrote. And it was um, basically something I just jammed on my acoustic guitar until I came up with this stuff. And I tried to make it all just one guitar part. So... Here's Fiesta.
This next song is from 1986. It's September 2nd, 1986 is the date I wrote this. It's called The Master Calls. And this is one of my earlier end time songs. I wrote a lot of songs about the end times. I've probably got a couple dozen songs that are just about the end times. And this is one of my early ones. And I basically wanted it to be mellow song. So it is a mellow song with harmonies. And I love the, the harmony idea on this because um, I did sevenths in the harmonies. And um, so I like the way this song sounds, even though it's very simple. It really chord wise and structure wise is probably the simplest song I ever wrote in my life. But I like it anyways, just because it's indicative of my early songwriting. And I actually came up with this musical idea once again, very early on back in the early 1980s and didn't really put words to it until 1986. So this song is called The Master Calls.
This next song is Psalm 40, and this is really the first song I ever did that was a straight Bible uh, quote. Uh, the, it was the, the first entire song that was just one long Bible quote that covered a whole psalm. I had made an earlier attempt at doing this, um, and I had done some earlier songs that were out of the psalms and out of different parts of the Bible. But this was my first serious attempt at trying to cover an entire psalm. And this covers almost the entire psalm of Psalm 40. It's it's most of it. And um, it was really fun to write because you had to kind of switch uh, feels to the song, switch um, beats, switch tempos, switch uh, everything, you know, make different melodies. And you had to kind of make it fit the words. I did some variations to Psalm 40, but I just basically almost copied the Revised Standard Version of Psalm 40 because I like the Revised Standard Version of this particular psalm. I don't normally like the Revised Standard Version, but this one, it worked. So this one is, uh, in a lot of places, you you can just read this right out of the Bible. It's just a straight quote of the Revised Standard. And in some places, I took from the King James and the NIV. So I find this just to be a fascinating song. And um, it, it's definitely my first a serious attempt at putting scripture to music. And this was from December 19th, 1983. So this was when I was 20 years old, I wrote this one. So this was a really fun song to write and I hope you like it. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the desolate pit, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth. A song of praise to our God Many will see and fear And put their trust in the Lord Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust Who does not turn to the proud To those who follow false Gods. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire For you have given me an open ear I delight to do your will, O oh God Your law is within my heart I have told the glad news of deliverance I have not restrained my lips I have not concealed your steadfast love within my heart I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation I have not concealed your steadfast love from the great congregation. O oh Lord, you've not withheld your mercy from me. Let your steadfast love and faithfulness ever preserve me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. Let them be put to shame who seek to snatch my life away. Let them be turned back who desire my life. But may all who seek the Lord rejoice and glad and may all who love your salvation 
forever sing your praise as for me i was poor and needy but the lord is watching over me he is my help and deliverance my hope and my salvation This last song is called Jam and G on the album, but honestly, this is just a jam that uh, myself and Robert Carlson and my brother Mark Seacamp, we used to jam at this song all the time. We, we'd take this rhythm and this, this uh, riff pattern and we would just jam to this for long periods of time. And we would call this the never ending songs. We would just jam and jam and jam. And we would think we're done. And then we just start it up again, start up with that bass rhythm. And we just start jamming some more. And so a lot of my guitar solo history, it comes from jamming to this song because I probably did more guitar solos to this rhythm, to this riff than to any other riff in the history of the world. So uh, <laughs> it's just a simple song. It's a simple jam, but it just develops as you go along and I just kind of did it the way that uh, Robert Carlson and my brother Mark Seacamp and I used to do it we would just do it and then we'd start up again in the middle and you know so I just kind of did it that way and it's just a long long jam and I just I hope you enjoy it because it was fun to just jam to this it was just a really fun time and it brings back memories of jamming with my brother Mark and with Robert Carlson when we used to just jam together so this is Jam and G I hope you enjoy it.
So that's the album, uh, Back in Time. So thanks for watching.